Coach, it's Dr. Sella here. Today we're going to discuss how to run midline twirl out of over. Something that we would have seen a lot more really 10, 15 years ago. However, it's something you can absolutely use, especially if they give you one high safety. So what happens is you're going to read the first person from a two to a four technique. So you're going to read the three technique, and here's how it's blocked. The tackle is going to fan uh, the first person outside the read. He's going to step with his inside foot. He's going to get his heels past his heels, turn his belly button to the sideline, strike with his right hand, and horizontally remove that player. The guard's going to veer inside. He's going to block the mic to the free safety. See, but the good thing about running it out of over is you're probably going to pull the safety over so he could end up all the way out the backside corner if the backer runs over the top. The center and the backside guard are going to double team the action key, which is the first defensive lineman inside the read. So they'll double team the 2i and vertically remove him. The tackle will spread his belly button to the hip of the guard, thereby canceling the backside B gap. The receiver is going to crack the safety because there's no need to block the corner because it's an A to B gap run. And the over receiver will do the same thing. So you could end up with two people on the safety. Backside receiver cuts off the corner. Now, the A-back, what he's going to do is the cadence is down, ready, set, hot. On the wide ready, he's going to hammer. He's going to take two diagonal steps as if he was running triple to the left. And then on the fourth step, he's going to insert through the inside leg of the tackle, and he's going to block the mic. If the guard secures the mic, he's going to block the overhang. If the overhang runs up the field or takes himself out of the play, he'll end up on the safety. You could theoretically end up with three people on the safety, which isn't going to be a lot of fun for him, but could very well be a lot of fun for you. Quarterback, here's the progression. He takes the snap, jumps in the backside A-gap, and points the ball. It's the B-back's ball. He's going to step straight ahead with his left foot first. He's going to run straight ahead. So, he's taking the, so the quarterback takes the snap, jumps in the backside A-gap, points the ball. It's the B-back's ball, and you can see here the B-back will run straight, and if the backer closes, he'll bend off that block, outside of that block, unless the three technique cancels the B-back. If the three technique cancels the B-back, the quarterback will reseat the ball, step with his play side foot, replace the three technique, and score. So you want to use over midline twirl, if they give you a single high safety, because what happens then is it's going to pull him out of the way and could cause big trouble for the defense. So there it is. And coaches, if you're looking to install Army and Navy's modern day flex bone triple option offense the right way the first time, give me a call at 570-332-0265-570-332-0265 with the Triple Option Football Academy and Triple Option Football Academy camps. You'll be running Army and Navy's offense the right way the first time. Go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonials to see all of the success stories that have come out of the camps and the academy. And I'll see you in the next video. Talk then.